And welcome back. Well, earlier in the program, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Jordan Clausen about animal husbandry. And now Jordan is back with a recipe to share. Taryn is standing by now with more. Excited to have Jordan here today to talk about her recipe. It is on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page and on my uh, Facebook page as well if you want to copy it down. Just added the picture to it because folks always want to see what the finished product looks yes, like. Yeah. And so this is a crock pot beef stroganoff. Yes. Um, is this something that's been in your family for a while? Jen? My grandma and I just use it. It's a quick recipe. So going into track season or just busy seasons, it's a great one to share really fast. You just throw it in the crock pot, walk away and come back make your egg noodles and you're ready to have supper. So okay, so people um, who are busy with those spring sports, right? this will be this a, a handy one. one. Okay, yep. so tell me what we need. So for. we just start with all the wet ingredients. So you would have your beef and then you would pour your um, golden mushroom soup in. You know, some people asked about that, if that's yep. hard to find. Um, sometimes it can be, but you can just do cream of mushroom if, if you need okay. an alternate. And then we'll do our Worc Worcestershire sauce. Which is a hard one to say. I know, I was <laughs> like, maybe that's not the right way to say it. And then our seasoning. Oh, the seasoning, Yep. Okay. And I always mix that together with the meat. I went ahead and cooked the meat already, though, so. That's what we, we want to say. You cooked up all the meat, so we yeah, don't have the raw right. meat to share. So just imagine the raw meat's yep, in here. Okay. Right. And then you'll pour the onions in the bottom okay. of the crock pot, basically. So that would oh. be the bottom of the crock. We're just doing it backwards we here. We put it all in yep. here. Okay. And then the water as well. And then just give okay. it a good stir. And then you'll walk away for about eight hours while that crock pot sits on low. And... Um, do your normal day, and then once you get back home and you're ready to start cooking the egg noodles, then you'll go ahead and stir in your cream cheese. So we'll do that now here. So okay. we'll dump our cream cheese in, and with the beef being as hot as it is um, from being in the crock pot all day, that cream cheese will melt into um, and make the stroganoff texture. Okay. And then while we're doing that, we're cooking our egg noodles or your mashed potatoes or whatever you want to put it over. All right, perfect. And again, um, you let this sit all day on low for about yep. eight hours. Yep. If and some crock pots are different, so if your crock pot cooks faster on warm, um, then you would just use the warm setting. So okay, and you would use two pounds of cubed stew meat. Is right. What you're looking yep. for. Yep. Yep. All right, and just kind of dump it all into yep. your crock pot. Yeah. Okay. And this is a really. Um, you know, financially stable recipe too. It's pretty cheap. So. Yeah, we're looking for that these days. Yep. And this looks like it's gonna be really tasty. Mm hmm. This is really good. I love stroganoff. Anyway, yeah, me too. It's a comfort mm. food. <laughs> it is. This is so great. And again, the recipes on our um, Facebook page is Pure Nebraska, and on mine. Thank you. Yes, of course. Okay. Back.